Hello everybody, it's Lazel again and today it's yeah my second video about Magic the Gathering Arena and luckily uh, it's finally open the rank draft for Free Rose Free Rose Free Death and yeah I was pretty excited about this one. I've saved up so much gold and now we are going to play some draft. So let's get right into it and let's start with our deck building. Let's go. Okay, what do we have? Oh, let's get to another side. Okay, what's this? Such a library for an enchantment card. Reveal it, put it into your hand and shuffle your library. Okay, I think it's mm, a very interesting card. It's still... Yeah, okay, the thing is enchantments can also be creatures now. So it's interesting. Uh, what else do we have? And as a battlefield, create a number of one, one creature tokens equal to your devotion to white. Okay, that's... Pretty interesting, but for five mana, it's very expensive in my opinion. Uh, the Birth of Meditus is a card that I already see pretty often. Okay. I oh, don't like this. It gets plus zero, plus one until end of turn. It's an enchantment creature. Okay. Hmm, okay. That's not very easy what to pick here. I think it will be the Adelic Tutor. And maybe go for a white enchantment deck. I just don't know what to play yet in the, in the set and what's good in draft and what's not. So yeah, let's give it a try. And what do we have here? Okay, this has already some synergy. And this Vigilance for one, that's actually pretty good. Hmm. Oh, I like Hydra's Grove. It's a very good card and we can also search it with the Idyllic Tutor. Um, I also like to focus on creatures pretty early because that's still a, bis a big mistake that I do. I'm always interested in good spells and enchantments and stuff like that, but I often forget to go for good creatures. It's a pretty good one drop in my opinion. Whenever you sacrifice a permanent, put a 1 1 counter on Blood Aspirant. Sacrifice a creature or enchantment. I think it will be the Karometra's Blessing. I've seen it card, and if I want to build into an a white aggressive enchantment deck. It's a very good card. Let's give it a try. Minions Return is a Pretty, pretty good enchantment in my opinion because it has flash and when I know okay I'm about to trade with my opponent I can return that creature immediately and give my opponent a good trade or for me a bad, uh, for him a bad trade um, but I really think that I should start to look for some creatures and I think the hero of the next spawn is pretty interesting It's a pretty good drop in my opinion, so I think it will be like a Boros deck. The Arena Trickster is a pretty good card in my opinion. I think it's a very interesting drop here. It's a very good enchantment in my opinion. Staggering. Hmm. 
I like the portent of betrayal too because it gives um, an early aggression deck some late game potential to finish my opponent off. But I also like the arena uh, arena trickster, and I think it will be him. So now I also have to focus on some cards that I can cast during my opponent's turn. I already have that one instant. Hmm. A grid creature gets plus zero plus two and has hexproof and whenever a creature with death touch blocks or becomes blocked by this creature, destroy that creature. Hmm. I don't like the Nixborn Brood because it doesn't have that much power or toughness. Yeah, toughness. Um, the Rumbling Sentry is actually also very interesting as a creature because it's a free six and the scry effect can be very interesting in the late game when I'm able to play this card. But the mirror shield is also very interesting against black decks, uh, which often have a lot of death touch. I think it will be... Yeah, let's give the rumbling sentry a try. Ah, okay, we have another trickster. And just sorry, guide lantern, we draw that last time. I think it will be another arena trickster. Oh, that's that's a pretty good card. But I also... And another Arena Trickster. Okay, that's not easy, not at all. From what I have so far... I think it's between the Sentinel's Eyes and another Arena Trickster. Um, yeah, let's try the Sentinel's Eyes. What do we have here? First Strike, Trample, Haste, Crew, One. Okay. As an additional cost to cast a spell, discard a card, draw two cards. Okay, I think it will be the thrill of possibility because it is synergy with my arena tricksters. And I get additional card draw from it. Okay, I think this time Glory Bearers is interesting too. But I think I need some more early game monsters. I think the Leonin of the Lost Pride is interesting. Because even if it dies, I can I still have the chance to work against some escape me uh, mechanics of the enemy. And I think Portent of Betrayal is interesting too, but I already have few late game cards. So I think I need to find some more early stuff. Crater, okay, this has some escape. The escape mechanic. And I have another Sentinel's Eyes. I think it will be another Sentinel's Eyes. I like this card. What do we have here? This is definitely a pick, yeah. Yeah, now we have to, or we can pick the important betrayal. Uh, I like to deny the Divine card as a sideboard pick, but yeah, I think I already have four copies of these, so I think I'll pick this one. Oh, this looks pretty interesting. Another white rare card whenever it 
attacks and tap another target creature you control until the end of turn that creature has base power and toughness for four and gains indestructible. And what do we have here? Until end of turn target creature gains trample and gets x plus zero where x is the number of IR. IR counters on the Triumph of Annex. Target creature you control fights up to one target creature you don't control. Okay, that's definitely not easy. What do we have here? In this battlefield, you may search your library for an aura card, reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle your library. I don't think do I. Yeah, I have two hours already. But it, in my opinion, it will definitely be the Terranica. Oh! We have another rare follow-up and another the triumph of anax okay i tend to pick the the rare card but i want to be a bit more competitive in drafts so i think i will pick the card that fits best for my deck uh hero of the pride when every castle spell the touches hero of the pride creatures you control get okay that's very good for an aggressive deck But I also like the Triumph of Annex because it has uh, four turns where it works. And yeah, I think I give it a try. What do we have here? Another enchantment. And it attacks each combat if able. Okay. I want to attack every time when enchanting to that creature's controller. Okay, I think I could handle this, but I also like the Incendinary or Oracle. Uh, because it exiles stuff and it counters the escape um, mechanic pretty good. And it's a two drop and I really still lack some, some early aggression. So I think it will be the incendiary oracle. Okay. This spell costs X less to cast where X is your devotion to white. Oh, and it's a flyer. Yeah, I think it will be this card. Scofors War Leader can be very interesting because it's another late game card. It's strong, it could gain manas. Yeah, let's take it. What do we have here? A flash enchantment. That's always very interesting. When aspect of Manticore enters the battlefield, enchanted creature gains first strike until end of turn. Oh, that's very interesting. Yeah. By this card I can gain pretty good control of the little board. So I give it a try. There's another Triumph of Annex, which is interesting. What do we have here? Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, target creature gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. It's a pretty good early drop because the constellation mechanic is very good in my opinion. And it's a one, two, one drop, which is pretty okay in my opinion. But I think the trans Transcendent Envoy is also very good. Because it's also a flyer. Yeah, I guess I'll pick this over this. And yeah, this time we'll pick, uh, pick the impending doom. I really like inferior raid. I think it's a very good card. Yeah, many sets have it. And especially in drafts, I think these cards are very powerful. Yeah, let's give it a try. Here we have another one. Here we are just going for some penny picks. Okay. Oh, an interesting land. Yeah. It's a scry land. I like those. What's this? Destroy target non-basic land and opponent controls. Each player searches the library for a basic card, puts it on the very battlefield. Daybreak Chimera can be interesting again. Um, but also there's another arena trickster. I give Karametra's Blessing another try. I like flash enhancements or enchantments. Oh yeah, Iros Blessing. I was waiting for this card. It's a very, very powerful card in my opinion. I definitely picked this. Mm. 
I think we have enough enchantments. I should go for more creatures. Now I'm excited to play. <laughs> On top of your library. Oh, that's interesting. Let's give it a try. Okay, let's start with the deck building. Okay, so okay, we are already very expensive in this deck. I need way more early pressure. I need some synergy for those arena tricksters, so I definitely need every fla uh, flash enchantment I can find. Fury Raid can also be helpful. I think two copies of Full of Possibility can be interesting. I like the Irrevent Revelos. I give this one a try. I should pick two of those. Yeah, do I still really want the idyllic tutor? Hmm, I don't know. I give those two a try. What's my mana base now? 9 to 16, okay. And should be fine. How many creatures do I have? I have 13 creatures. I think that's definitely not enough. I think it should be a bit more. But I'd say, yeah, let's give it a try. First match, let's go. We'll see how it works. Okay, yeah, I'm starting at bronze. Hmm, okay. There we already have the problem of not having an early creature. Oh, that doesn't look good at all. I'm keeping this because yeah, I was hoping to draw into a, a wild mana source. But we didn't. And another turn that we don't draw a mana source. Hmm. Yeah, I should play this to at least have a blocker. I can give it haste, but I don't want to be too aggressive now. I need my white mana source so I can be aggressive to work with Karometo's Blessing. Okay, that's very aggressive of him. Okay. 
Wow, I'm really not that lucky with mana today. Okay, we are really having some problems here. And now... Ooh, that's not good at all. Yeah, we gave it a try. Ah no, let's not concede. Let's have a fun with this deck. Yep, we got completely smoked this one. Might be the fastest draft I ever did. Let's check again. Okay. remove one of this, put this one in, and I think that hmm. what else can we do? Okay, let's give this one a try. Okay, this already looks way better. Okay, let's start up with a mountain. Okay, he plays a tap land, that's fine for me. And let's follow up with another mountain to not show my second color. Okay, he's already able to react to what I'm doing. Let's see if he flashes something in. Okay, he doesn't. Okay. That's fine for me. I think that I should still keep the aggression on and attack and if he wants to trade I should buff up with Infuriate and follow up with a Transcendent Envoy. Because I have to keep the aggression up, okay, it doesn't do a thing. So I'll buff up anyways, hit him, and then follow up with the Transcendent Envoy. I don't know what he's trying to do. It's fine for me, he can hit me, I know that I'm way more aggressive than him. Okay, that's very good to have it. So I have a lot of answers if he does stuff. And the thing is, with the Karameter's Blessing, I can give my Incendiary Oracle Hexproof, depending on if he wants to do something. That's very good, because now he'll double block with those tokens, which is fine for me. That's fine. 
And I think I should bother with, uh, with the inferior rate, so I'll keep my hex proof. Let's see if he reacts. He still has two mana open. Okay, let's try it like this. It's sad to invest all of this damage into these two tokens, but... Okay, again, he definitely wants to do something during my turn, which is fine for me. But he didn't play a land, so... Oh, it doesn't even gain hexproof. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. I can still ki kill this creature. That's good. And I don't lose mine. But he is coming back into the game pretty good. And now he also scries to so he'll probably look for a land. I still have my portent of betrayal. He has okay. Yeah, I have to keep the aggression up. Hmm. I hope a draw into a good creature that I have. Okay. Oh, that's a very strong creature. Now, we start to have a real big problem. I can't attack right now. He would kill all my stuff. I could use the portent of betrayal, but I hope to find an opening. Um, okay. He's building up a pretty big board. All I can do is to hope to find an opening now where he taps with a lot of his creatures so I can steal one of his and then give him a finishing blow. But before that I need to find this opening and I need, still need to find a way to deal him some damage. Okay. I think he will definitely look to draw a card from this. That's fine, he can hit me for two. And now I'm just drawing into lands. Unbelievable. Yeah, I cannot attack right now. Even if I still steal one of his creatures, he still has... Yeah, anyway, we'll do that. Okay, that's also not good at all. I 
Again, another land. Yeah, no attack for me. Okay, he is... Okay, he's still missing one land to activate this ability. Okay, I think now the point has come where is he about to hit me. He can hit me for like... 8 in the air now. Yeah, I'll take this. Another land, okay. So the thing is, I think it's going to be over for me now anyway, so let's give it a last shot. Okay, now the creatures are coming, <laughs> great. Yeah, good game. Yeah, he's about to hit me now and get me. I like the omen of the hunt. I think it's a very good enchantment. Hmm. Yeah, let's give it one last try. This time I'll be doing something different. I definitely need way more early creatures. I don't need this one. Oh, I need to put some lands. Put in some lands. Uh, how many lands do we play? 17, right? And about, okay. Okay, how much do we have? We have 13, 13, so 7 and 8. We still have two double whites, so it's going to be 8 white mana and 7 red. Okay, let's give this one a try, or at least the last try for this video. Okay, my opponent goes first. I have a drop for level 3, but it's all for 3 mana. I can draw. Let's give it a try, come on. I 
I'm thinking about discarding a card and drawing two again, but yet I don't. I think I can pretty uh, play pretty well on curve so far. So I wait and I don't have the synergy with my tricksters right now. Okay. I can handle those. So now I have a token. I hope that he plays something big now so I can use the Iora's Blessing on it. Yeah, like that. Nice. Yeah, I think it's better to... to enchant my token and give this one 4 damage. And now he has to decide if he wants to double block or take the hit. Okay. I still have my flash enchantment. Oh, that's very good. I can deal with this. He also wants to play aggressive. Yeah, I couldn't follow up. But I can kill his his cursor with um, the Infury Rate, and I will definitely do this. So I get way more counters on my Triumph of Anex. I don't like that he has black. <laughs> black white is... Okay. Both on top. Not attacking, that's good. Okay. Now it's getting interesting because I can be very aggressive now. Let's see how he reacts to this. It's a trample creature and with the aspect of Manticore I can... Okay. Yeah. <coughs> and we'll leave it like that. Next turn I have a very strong trample creature. Okay, what do we have here? Enemy of Enlightenment gets minus one, minus one for each card in your opponent's hands. At the beginning of the upkeep, each player discards a card. Okay, I can handle this. Okay, who do I want to give plus three? Oh, nice. Okay, first win in this pretty, yeah, not that good draft of mine, but still, yeah, we got one win at least now. And yeah, still, um, I tried my Ashiok deck um, a few times and got a pack, so let's open this one before we end this video. And what do we have here? Okay. Whenever you cast your first spell during each opponent's turn, deals one damage to any target. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, Labyrinth of Skull Force. At remove target attacking or blocking creature from combat. That's interesting. Okay. 
Okay, guys, so we had a pretty bad start in this draft, um, but that's it for today. We'll be, or I'll be back with the continuing of this draft, and yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.